Start off this presentation by showing you guys this comic of Peanuts the dog. It was a dark and stormy night. That's a terrible way to begin a story, it's so trite. Once upon a time, that's the way all the good stories begin. Do that, begin your story with once upon a time. Once upon a time, it was a dark and stormy night. In Foster's book, How to Read Literature Like a Professor, Foster mentioned several ways authors use symbolism and plot devices to give stories deeper and more significant meaning than you'd seen. Where there's one of these symbols. In chapter 9 titled, It's More Than Just Rain or Snow, Foster delves deeper into the meaning of weather and how it introduces key meaning to the piece and progresses plot. On page 44, Foster says, There's much more to it. Here's what I think. Weather is never just weather. It's never just rain. And that goes for snow, sun, warmth, cold, and probably sleet. Although the incidence of sleep in my reading is too rare to generalize. As you can see by that clip from the Shawshank Redemption, the movie utilizes rain to show how the main character has been rebirthed. Rain pushes upon this instance because it allowed the scene to convey a greater meaning, which would normally be much more difficult through the use of words. This is how most literature and movies utilize weather to push plot. Here's another clip from Okami Komodo no Ameto Yuki, which utilizes weather in a similar fashion. Weather can be utilized in many different ways as well. Here is a clip from Silent Hills 2 which shows how weather can also symbolize many things. No fishing. I would not want to fish in Silent Hill. I don't even want to think about what I might catch. Uh, catch. <sighs> catch. Ah! Fog in that instance shows lostness and confusion which would normally be very difficult to convey. Weather has been and will be utilized in the literature forever. YTs can be summed up in a few easy words. It's amazing! Watch how OxyClean unleashes the power of oxygen! Not only is weather convenient, it is also highly symbolic, which allows authors to convey great meaning with little effort. Plot devices are an essential tool in writing because they maintain plot progression and keep the story interesting. Foster develops a few key points. Weather gives the story deeper meaning. This is done through symbolism and foreshadowing. Foster talks about how weather can serve more than merely a description and act like a plot device. These plot devices create tension and mood unattainable through the use of words. Mud can symbolize taintedness, fog can represent mystery or confusion, and snow can symbolize fun, coldness, cleanliness, or severeness. Furthermore, the weather tends to match, highlight, and clarify the narrative tone of the scene. This is shown throughout many parts of The Great Gatsby. For example, when Gatsby is reunited with Daisy. Generally, the function of foreshadowing is to build anticipation in the minds of readers about what might happen next and thus adding dramatic tension to the story. It is deliberately employed to create suspense and mystery novels, usually by giving false clues or red herrings to distract readers. Moreover, foreshadowing can make extraordinary and bizarre events appear credible as the events are predicted beforehand, so that readers are mentally prepared for them. In Charles Dickinson's book, Great Expectations, Weather is used in chapter 9 to foreshadow the momentous changes in Pip's life and outlook. Stormy and wet, stormy and wet, and mud, mud, mud deep in the streets. Day after day, a vast heavy veil had been driving over London from the east, and it drove still, as if in the east there were an eternity of cloud and wind. So furious had been the gust that high buildings in the town had the lead stripped off the roofs, and in the country, trees had been torn up, and sails of windmills carried away, and gloomy accounts had come in from the coast of shipwreck and death. By the blast of rain, had accompanied these rages of wind, and the day just closed as I sat down to read had been the worst of all. In chapter 1 of The Great Gatsby, Fitzgerald says this, And so with the sunshine and the great bursts of leaves growing on the trees, just as things grow in fast movies, I had that familiar conviction that life was beginning over again with the summer. This text shows how weather can be utilized. 
The summer in this instance symbolizes excitement and funness. On the way to Nick's house, the setting is described on page 89 as the day agreed on pouring rain. This quote shows the nervousness of Gatsby to reunite with Daisy and give the story more depth and clarity. The rebirth of Gatsby and Daisy's relationship can also be shown by the water in this scene. After a while, Nick decides to go outside and take a break. After Nick returns on page 89, it says, After half an hour, the sun shone again. This also represents the symbolism of weather and is critical to the plot. The weather is critical to the plot and its progression because it allows the reader to get a greater understanding behind the meaning. The sun in the scene represents the, re the relationship and mood being restored to a happier state. Normally, I would say read the book instead of watch the movie, but the movie actually conveyed this scene rather well, so here it is. I just have to pop into town. Town? I'll be right back. Nick, I've got to speak to you about something. Yes, I'll, I'll be right back. God, this was a mistake. This was a terrible, terrible mistake. You're just embarrassed. Stacy's embarrassed, too. She's embarrassed. Yes, just as much as you are. Don't you know. Hey, you're acting like a little boy. You're being rude. Daisy's in there all alone. And you're... Looking over my story so far, I'm reminded that for the second time that summer, I was guarding other people's secrets. Once again, I was within and without. Yes! All right. In chapter seven, one of the most critical chapters of this book, Foster goes into great detail regarding the weather. In this scene, the time is still summer and Gatsby desires to go swimming before the leaves fall. One last swim in this case symbolizes one last go with Daisy. The hotness in this, of this day represents the tension in the relationship between all the characters. This description was critical because, to the plot because it allowed readers to derive their own meanings regarding these circumstances which allowed for the plot to progress. Shortly after, chapter 7 ties in directly with chapter 8. The day after the hottest day of the summer, Autumn came around. Generally, autumn symbolizes death because all the trees are beginning to losing their leaves. Furthermore, this is a time of period when things tend to settle. When Gatsby and Daisy meet, it's in a very rainy situation. When Gatsby confronts Tom, it's on the hottest day of the summer which shows tension. The pool is also symbolic because the leaves are like Tom clogging up the pipes. The pipes are Daisy and Gatsby relationship. This was shown by the quote on page 199. I'm going to drain the pool today, Mr. Gatsby. Leaves will start falling pretty soon, and there's always trouble with the pipes. Gatsby's funeral is during the winter, which is a highly symbolic time of period of death and mourning. This is true of Gatsby's funeral. The weather in the scene is crucial to the plot because it shows greater meaning behind every act. The weather in the scene also pushes the plot because it gives the reader deeper understanding, which allows for the progression of plot. We've come to the end. Some like to call it the conclusion. The use of weather in The Great Gatsby is highly specialized. The use of weather allows for a progression of plot and symbolism throughout the novel. This is shown throughout many parts of the novel, such as chapters 1, 5, 7, 8, and 9. Weather gives the story deeper meaning, which is done through symbolism and foreshadowing. I'd like to end this presentation with a poem. Greetings, old friend. The end is nigh. Yet all I can do is let out a sigh. We've walked this path together so long. So many questions left. It just seems so wrong. But let's not forget the journey we've had. Epic and dark. It's no wonder me sad. Though those who enjoyed it in the end are few. I'll bleach my soul and start anew. <laughs>